Want to be able to change the settings on your MTR device via the Pro Portal? In this week's episode, I'll show you exactly how. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mo Mondays. In this week's episode, I am going to show you how to utilize the Pro Portal to be able to change the settings on your MTR device. Uh, and this is talking about uh, Teams Rooms devices on Windows, as well as now Teams Rooms devices on Android. Uh, of course, the first thing that we need to do is head straight over down to this link, which is the portal.rooms.microsoft.com. Uh, and that will then bring you up into your uh, Pro Portal page. Now, of course, as always, on the front screen, you will see all the latest updates um, that come out from the MTR engineering team and the Pro Portal team on all the latest uh, things that are going on in, in terms of updates, in terms of new features, uh, even things like little alerts and stuff that um, Microsoft have identified, they're all shown on the screen. Uh, of course, if you scroll down a little further, um, you will actually see where Microsoft has now added a new option to be able to change settings uh, on Teams Rooms on Android. Now, previously in the past, we weren't able to do that. You were only able to change settings uh, using the Pro Portal uh, for MTR on Windows. Android is notoriously hard to be able to change anything remote on there. It's just based around kind of um, how, how the platform is built. With Windows, we have the ability to be able to kind of do things, you know, it's a bit more mature. Uh, but with Android, literally everything is being built from the ground up. So let me show you exactly how you would go ahead and change the settings. Very, very simple. Uh, across here on the left hand side, where you see all the options, we're going to go ahead and just select rooms, and you'll see all the devices that are currently connected uh, onto the Pro Portal. Of course, you need to have a Pro, uh, pro license to be able to use the Pro Portal. Um, and you can, by the way, use Teams Admin Center and do very basic, but with Pro Portal, you can do way, way more. Um, so let me give you an example. If you are using, let's say, uh, MTR on Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and select this one across here. Uh, as always, you get to see all the all, all the monitoring, all the signals that are being popped up. Um, Vincent is about to uh, um, fly out somewhere, I believe it is, which is the reason why we've got a lot of alerts coming from, from his devices. Uh, but effectively, uh, if I go ahead and hit the settings button, uh, you'll see from here, we have the ability to actually go ahead and change a lot of the settings. Um, so this is, you know, as soon as you've got your device online and it's connected, it'll automatically enroll into the Pro Portal. You're able to then come onto this part uh, and actually go ahead and change uh, all the settings from an MTR on Windows device. So no need for you to actually physically be there. Uh, a lot of times installers will go in, they'll they'll kind of hang and in the industry, we call it hang and bang. Um, they'll go in and they'll install the devices and then leave site. Uh, but then what you can do is you can configure the devices once they're online, you can configure the devices by using the Pro Portal as you see across here. So you'll see all the most common features, things like coordinated meetings and device settings, even peripherals. If you have additional peripherals connected to your Teams rooms on Windows, if you have like uh, external mics or speakers, you have the ability to be able to again, kind of go in and, and, and kind of change what the options look like across here. Um, and even now, um, and this was a, a feature that people have been asking for, for at least the last three and a half, four years now, where are we able to change themes remotely? without the need of actually having to edit the Skype XML files. Since the, the the last update with the new UI that came in, the answer is yes, you can. So now you have the ability to be able to actually change the theming directly from the portal itself. Um, once you've changed the options, um, you simply go ahead, hit the apply button, that will push the settings down to the device. And literally within a few minutes, that device will then be updated um, with all the settings that you have across here. Now, what does it look like if you're using an Android device? Slightly different. And apologies if you hear baby screaming in the background. Don't ask. It's a nightmare. Um, so let's go ahead and, 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 and uh, kind of look back at the rooms that we have. So you'll see across here, we've got a whole bunch of kind of Android runs. Uh, mine is just here. You can see the host name. So I've got a TC8. Uh, I also have a um, X52 across here, which is the device that I want to go ahead and configure. Now, this is where you see the slight differences between Windows uh, and Android. With Windows, you get a lot of signals. You know, there's a lot of data that can be pulled from an MTR on Windows device. But with Android, it's a little less. And again, it's just based around how the Android platform is built. It's getting better and better and better. And the team are working hard to try and bring across more signals and more customization uh, across onto Android devices. Um, but what we'll see, just um, as we saw with MTR on Windows, just here at the top, you'll see the settings button. You go ahead, you hit the settings button. Now, when you click the settings button, 
and you click things like meetings and device. It's all pretty much read only that you see across here. So you can't like on a Windows device, select options and change options and things uh, on an MTR or an Android here, you can't. However, there is a different way of doing it. And that's by scrolling down here to configuration profile. So you are on an Android device able to create a configuration file and then push that configuration file to the devices that you've selected. Now, if you are a bit more advanced and you've already created configuration files, you can actually go ahead and search the profile. So if I was to type in like D for default, it knows I've got a configuration file called default settings, uh, which is what I push out to all of my devices. Um, but let's say I wanted to create a brand new one. So you've gone and installed all your devices. It's time to create a configuration file. Ideally, you want to do that prior to uh, getting the devices installed, makes it a little easier. Um, so you'll see a little option here that says um, you can view the full list of avail available Teams Rooms Android configuration profiles here. Hit that button. When you hit that button, it will then open up a brand new window and it will take you into Teams Admin Center. Um, so let me just go ahead and make that a little bigger. There we go. So once you're in Teams um, Admin Center, It'll take you straight to the configuration profiles and any configuration profiles that you've already created in the past will then show up down here at the bottom. However, in our case, we want to create a brand new one. So very, very simple. Just across here, you'll see we see add. Uh, you go ahead, you hit the add button. Um, you create the new profile. So I'm just going to call it a test profile for now. Um, uh, profile, there we go. You can put a little description in there if you want. Uh, and then, of course, you have all the settings that you want to use. Now, device lock, generally, you know, if you want to uh, stick it on, you can. I generally turn it off. Um, but then, you know, the language is super important. So in my case, I want to make sure we're in the United Kingdom and then time. So the time zone, again, uh, you know, it's one of those things that a lot of people take for granted, but make sure you are selecting the correct time zone. That way your meetings uh, and things will come through uh, correctly. Of course, the time format um, and the date format. And um, in last week's episode or the week before, I believe we spoke about how to enable touchscreen uh, controls if you're using a touchscreen with an MTR device. Um, now you have the ability to actually select it across here. So if I select that button, um, if the system detects that we're connected to a touchscreen, it will allow those controls to go onto the front of room touchscreen display. Um, and then, of course, we move down and we've got maximum room occupancy notifications. So if you've gone into the settings, um, um, the room resource settings, and you've told it that this room is a three person meeting room or a four person meeting room uh, and you've got a compatible camera or sensor to go along with it, it will then pop up the notification to say this room is, you know, at capacity as an example um and then of course people can extend room reservations as well so you have the ability to switch that on and off uh, as well so um you know for those really really busy rooms that you have generally you wouldn't select this option but for those ones that are have a bit more light usage in there um and are not booked as often as those busy rooms uh, select the option to extend the room reservations that way if i'm running over i'll just extend it and it'll just uh, extend the room for me uh, again, just as I mentioned uh, earlier on with uh, Teams Rooms on Windows with changing themes, you can also do that on Android as well. So you have the ability to go ahead and select which one it is that you want. I like color, so I'm going to go ahead and, and hit the into the fold. Uh, display a screensaver if you want. Now, again, remember these config files are designed for Android, right? So there are Teams phones and Android and other devices as well. So some of these options will apply for them, not always for the MTR. But we've got a screensaver here. I'm going to go ahead and unselect that. Uh, backlight brightness if you want, timeouts, contrast, sign-up modes, office hours, etc. power saving, screen capture. Uh, most of this will just stay default off for a Teams room system. Uh, and of course, you know, what's really important for uh, installers and people that are configuring the network is the network settings. In my case, I'm using DHCP, uh, hence the reason I'm just going to let DHCP control uh, kind of the networking and let it do what it does. But if you did have um, more specific requirements. You have the ability to change host names, domain names, add a subnet mask, and, uh, and, and, and specify an IP address for it as well. Once you've done that, you simply go ahead, you hit the Save button, and that will create that config file for you. So that's now across here. Uh, and I can go ahead and uh, either on uh, Teams Admin Center, you know, go ahead and assign uh, the devices. Uh, and you do that by going, to, going into devices. But what we're going to do in this case is make it a little easier. We're going to switch straight back over onto the pro management portal. Now that we're here on the pro management portal, I'm just going to 
actually hit the X button because we want to refresh it, right? And then go ahead and reselect the device. So my X52 is across here. I go ahead, I hit settings, scroll down to configuration file. That then brings that up and I can start searching for that config file I've just built. And you'll see test profile now pops up across there. And then literally all I would go ahead and do is hit the apply button. Once I hit the apply button, that config file is then pushed over onto the devices. So a lot of the settings that you wanted to apply, or the main settings, would automatically be applied onto the device. Now, granted, there are a lot, uh, there are some settings like direct guest join and things like that that need to be do done on device. It is an Android limitation. Hopefully, you know the team will be building out and and and, and trying to bring life. But at this at this moment in time, features like device join. Uh, or get, um, uh, direct guest join, should I say, need to be done on the device. But for a brand new install where you want to get the default settings in or the, the, the most common settings, you can get them done by using a configuration file across here. Um, so there you go. Um, nice and simple. That shows you exactly how you can change the settings. Remember, on Windows devices, it's a little easier. There's more granularity. You can go in and change more settings. Uh, on Android, it's a bit more less, but you do have the option to be able to apply those config files. And again, it kind of goes back to um, you know one of the episodes I did a few episodes ago. And if you haven't seen it, do make sure you go check out the Mo Mondays playlist on the Teams Rooms Tech um, channel, uh, and you'll see Windows versus Android. Um, and in that episode, I do talk about why you would go Windows or why you would go Android. And again, you know, this could be one of those defining factors of, you know, if you are doing a, a global install or a multi-site install where you don't always have people on site, potentially Windows is easier to go ahead and 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 uh, kind of configure remotely on the fly. Uh, or Android, you, you if you don't need to change too many settings, you can just send out a config file and apply all those devices on there and away you go. Uh, so easy as that. So guys, hopefully you've learned something new uh, and it makes life just that little bit easier. But for now, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below for what you would like to see uh, for the next episodes of Mo Mondays. With that in mind, see you next week. Ciao.